Hello YouTube, Total Henry here. I am back with a very quick video. In this video, I will be giving you my thoughts on Master Keaton Volume 1 by Narki Urasara. So, Master Keaton, I went into this not knowing anything about it, and this series is incredible. Based on the first volume alone, I love this series. I'm going to continue to read it on online, and then I'm going to buy all the volumes. I think they're still c coming out, so... Because I, I love this series a lot. This series is really, really good. The first volume, really, really good. So, now, I'm going to talk about the art. The art is good. It's standard Naraki Urasara artwork right here. Um, so, if you like uh, his artwork, I think you will be fine with this. Because, as I said, it's standard... Naraki Urasara artwork. The only thing I will say about his art is some of the characters look the same compared to other ones, so that can be a little confusing. But in the case context of this, it doesn't really bother you that much because most of these are like single chapter story arcs. There's a few two or three chapter story arcs, but in the single chapters, the characters don't reappear except for the, the main ones. Um, so I guess we're moving on to the story because I'm kind of talking about that. I was a little disappointed to find out that these were single episode arcs. I would rather have them be a one big story, kind of like Monster was, which was the previous, uh, my previous Naruki Urasawa experience. So I was expecting this to be like one gigantic story, but it wasn't. And you know, the way this is done, I'm fine with that. I think in the future there'll be longer and longer stories. So, the story doesn't upset me too much because the individual chapters are interesting. But probably the main reason I love this is because of this main character, because of the main character right here. So, here's the main character's name right down there. Uh, can I point to it? Right there. His name is Keaton. And I love this character a lot. He daydreams a lot he is an archaeological expert he's a history buff so he's really really smart and he was also in the army so he knows how to survive he's not like a super tough guy but he knows how to survive so that's really really cool he's really skilled but he daydreams so he doesn't seem like this kind of tough guy that can take care of himself so i i just love the character the art is good and the stories are engaging and also this is such a nice Vol volume. So, Master Keaton, I highly re recommend this series, and I'm going to buy more volumes, keep reading them, and Master Keaton, Volume 1.